Here's our future. Some of it depends upon the energy of empty space, some doesn't. In two billion years, the sun is heating up slowly, by the way. And in two billion years, the sun will be 15% hotter. In that time, at that point, the Earth will exist in a range around the sun, just like where Venus is now. There will be a runaway greenhouse effect, and the surface of the Earth will be about 1,000 degrees. Will not be good. There are ways around that. We can move the Earth out to where Mars is now. Then it would be habitable. But if you wait long enough, it turns out it doesn't matter. The sun will use up all its hydrogen fuel in about five billion years. And when it does that, it will actually grow in size until it encompasses the Earth's surface. So the Earth will be inside the sun, not a pleasant place to be. But forget all that. <laughs> That's just short time. In 100 billion years, because of this accelerating universe, the rest of the universe will have disappeared. Because it turns out that those distant galaxies that are moving away from us now are speeding up and eventually they'll be moving away from us faster than the speed of light. That's allowed. Nothing can move, you have to be like a lawyer and parse this a little more carefully. Nothing can move through space faster than the speed of light, but space itself can do whatever the hell it wants. <laughs> and, and all those galaxies will be carried away and the rest of the universe will literally disappear before our very eyes. 